organ, you will see these lit up stalls. Now they are called our chapter stalls and they are unique to Irish cathedrals. As you can see, if you have a look inside, they have their nice little uh, separate seating place for them, nice and comfortable. And you will see all of their positions written in Latin, and that is where they would have sat back in those days. Now, what actually makes us a cathedral is this wonderful boot. It has the mitre on the top, a lovely seat there, and if you were to sit in that, you would be sitting a foot and a half higher than everybody else because, of course, it was made for the bishop and he liked to look over all of his people. But this one over here that you will see, there is space for two people. And can anybody tell me what it might have been used for back in the day? No? No ideas? Not a bride and groom? Lots of people Hello. say that. Lector. A lector? No, because we would have had an old pulpit here. But here's something you won't see anywhere else. This is the judge's seat. Because back in the day, they would have had court sessions here. Because just down English Street, we still have today our courthouse. Beside that, we have the little museum, which is where the old jails would have been. And look out for, on the left-hand side, two beautiful Georgian townhouses where the judges would have lived and they would have come here and had petty court sessions. A few other things to look out for of course are our beautiful stained glass windows which date back to the uh, early 1800s. We of course have our gorgeous east window here and I do find it amazing that they could recreate those colours from that time because um, they were very expensive to make. Um, people joke and ask me when they were last cleaned. And I say I have no idea when they were last cleaned, probably in the 1800s, and maybe why, that, why they've lasted so long, because nobody has bothered to touch them. But they really are beautiful. We also have here a very important piece here of our music. It is the organ. It is one of its kind. It's the only one more or less working and in full working order. You will see there the choir stand on top there. They, they have their choir stalls there. And these gold pipes that you see at the front, they're all overlaid with gold leaf. But I'll tell you a little secret, they're all false. <laughs> they don't make any noise because all of the pipes are inside. It has a little screen and from a door from the side where you can go in and work and clean and see all of the pipes as well. Another little thing to point out are these beautiful capitals, as we call them, at the top of the pillars there. And they date back from the 5th and 6th century, and they were moulds that were taken from them then, and they depict scenes such as, well, they have little um, fruit, fruit leaves, vine leaves. You've got little faces on, the, on them as well. You've got the nuns' heads there, and little cherubs as well you can see on the wall. And on the way in, very quickly, I'm just going to mention this, you would have seen our baptismal font there. It's a beautiful piece, very original. And that was actually, uh, has come from Denver's, which is a bar just down the street. But they <laughs> yes, they claim to be the oldest bar in Ireland, dating back to the 1600s. But I'm sure there have been a few before that time. But one evening, uh, Captain Wallace was there. He was a patron of the cathedral. He was having his little drink. He saw this and he knew. He said, that there is the base of an old town cross. So he brought it up here and today it is used as our baptismal font. So they still did a bit of recycling in those days. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's really all I'm going to say now. Thank you all for coming. Don't forget to lift your little green booklet there. Enjoy Saul, take in the atmosphere there. It really is lovely. And enjoy the rest of your stay here today. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. And, um, don't forget, just lift yourselves one of the little green so booklets. would have been sandstone, something like that.
much it's as really modern. modern. It's very modern, but I think it does have, fit in. We have services here. Oh, we do. Yes, yes. So you we have, have our and this is the interior. This is more of the interior of uh, down, the Down Cathedral. And they have these unusual numbered boxes. These are unusual for a cathedral. And these are actually for judges. Um, so they held court in here too. And that's uh, the bishop for the bishop. And the number of boxes over here also. You see the numbers. This is the ceiling. Lines that they're related to that Emmy has never been here, they'll be able to see the church, the cathedral that their ancestors were in. So, what is the actual correct name of this? Pardon me, what is the actual what? Correct name of the cathedral? St. Patrick's Cathedral. That's what I thought. So, this is more of the inside. dead end around 1798. That's where it begins or ends depending on how you want to